What's hiding underneath things can be scary. Underwater, under your bed, especially what's under your carpet. Except when you get new carpet from Carpet One Floor and Home. After tearing up your old carpet, they'll vacuum and apply Healthinex antimicrobial to your subfloor, disinfecting and killing mold, mildew, and any remaining general awfulness. Carpet One Floor and Home goes the extra mile to protect you, your family, and your home. Carpet One Floor and Home in Columbia, making your home beautiful, guaranteed. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Tuesday, November the 22nd. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. And we've got two of my favorite people. They're both dentists, a husband and wife team from Columbia Healthy Smiles, Philip Batson and Elizabeth Abe. Pleasure to have you. Thanks for having us. You know, before we go any further, today is a special day. I have to say happy birthday to our director, Travis McMillan. He's celebrating his birthday today. Oh, there he is. And he was all set for it. He's got a shot of himself from the control room, too. <laughs> he kept reminding me, don't forget what today is. <laughs> I could never forget that, Travis. All right. Now, today, uh, we're going to talk about the anatomy of our mouth. How many times if you, well, you, you, you go to the dentist, you talk to somebody, and say, my wisdom teeth, my molders, my incisors, what? What are these teeth? Where are they located in the mouth? So the dentists are here to explain all of that. How many teeth should we have in our mouth? Or do most people have? Well, that's a that's a good question, and it does definitely vary, but we are designed to have 32 teeth. Uh, that would be um, with all of our wisdom teeth, as people say, or what are known as third molars if they were uh, developed and in. Now, um, Third molars commonly uh, don't erupt for some patients. They never come into the mouth on some people, or they. Is that stay. what you call erupting? Erupting, yeah, where they would come into where they could be um, used to eat with and, and chew on. Um, sometimes they stay impacted. They don't develop. Uh, they're just they're just the last tooth to develop, so they have more kind of develop, developmental abnormalities. Uh, a lot of people have them removed, um, and so most people, you know, more people probably have twenty eight ish teeth than they do thirty two teeth. Okay. You may not be able to. Why are they called wisdom teeth? That's a good bit of trivia, Paul. <laughs> we'll have to find. We'll I'm going to answer next I, time. I'm going to have. I'll have the answer next time. I, <laughs> next off the time t- you're on. Off the top of my head, I don't know. And I don't do know. You? But okay. We call, we call them third molars. Yeah, we call, call them third, third molars. molars. Yeah. Okay. Now they brought along a, a big uh, model of the mouth. For for those of you listening on the radio, I'll try to describe this the best that I can. Those watching on television, you know what I'm talking about here. Now, the teeth are front teeth right here. What are, what are those called? Incisors. The incisors. The upper and lower front teeth yep. are the incisors. How many incisors do we have? Six on the top, six on the bottom. And so they help, like, tear food, tear things. They tear the food? Yes. Okay, so when you're biting into corn on the cob, you're biting in with your incisors. Yes. That's what they do. Now, I'm opening up the mouth, and behind the incisors, if, you can, if you're watching on television, you see these. What are those? Your premolars. Premolars. Mm-hmm. So the premolars are the ones that are just a little bit to the side mm-hmm. of your mouth, and then you go all the way to the back. There's two of them there. Those are... Th- those are your molars, and then if your wisdom tooth were to erupt, then you would have three molars. You'd have another molar behind... Yep. The two molars. Correct. Yeah. But most people don't have all of, oh, this molar is loose. <laughs> you did your first extraction, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I, when I pull this out, I, uh, it, it, when you pull the tooth, you take the whole thing out. Like Correct. That. Yeah. 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 When it has to, if, if for some reason a tooth does need to be removed from the mouth, yeah, roots and all, all come out. Okay. So now this is a big version, and this person is very fortunate because all of their teeth look in very good condition. There's no cavities whatsoever. Absolutely. How many people can say they have no cavities? It, does anybody go through whole, their whole life without cavities? Yes. Mm-hmm. Some people do. Yeah. 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 Do you have to have a special kind of mouth or uh, a special type of enzyme in your mouth to prevent you from having cavities or are some people just fortunate that way there are many factors but um if they had good hygiene and you know 
always take care of their teeth and probably have other things working for them as well, like good diet and then it can happen, yeah. So it is possible if you start from when you're a very young child mm -hmm. to go through life and have no cavities at all. It's possible. It's probably rare, but it, but it is possible. Okay. Now, you brought along another uh, mouth. <laughs> and for those of you listening on the radio, I will try to paint a picture of it. This is a pretty, do I have it right? Do I'm holding it right? You are, okay. yeah. This is an average size mouth, but on the side here, there's a big red yeah. on one of the teeth. Does that mean that's the cavity or is that an infection? No, that, that right there is actually just showing uh, the anatomy of what a nerve inside a tooth would look oh. like. So, it, and, and the reason it's red is because the nerve um, supplies the blood supply and nutrients to our teeth. So people, so when we think about teeth, they have nerves coming inside of them and they're, and they're fed nutrients by that nerve um, supply, uh, uh, blood supply, nutrients, everything. And so uh, that's just an anatomical uh, showing of the nerve. So is the tooth a living organism? It's, that, it's it, what we call it vital. You know, it's vital because it has a blood supply and a nutrient supply. Um, and so that's when people get pain and develop, you know, uh, infections and things like that. That's, it, that's when the nerve has been compromised. Yeah, just think of it as like it's your only bone that is like external. Exposed. exposed. So the yeah. tooth is like a bone that is exposed, mm -hmm. but it's got a nerve going through it. Mm -hmm. And if you have a cavity, it's going to expose that nerve. And that's how you would get a toothache then. Is yeah. that right? And so, potentially. And so our goal is when we say we have to do a filling or a crown or any sort of work, um, that we are getting to it early enough to where there's no pain involved with the tooth yet. And so that even if somebody has developed decay in a cavity, we're able to prevent the nerve from being um, irreversibly harmed or, or, or affected, and then they can live a nice long life with their tooth a long time and not have any pain and not need you know a root canal or anything like that. So it's possible to develop a cavity and not and not have pain, but we want to take care of the problem before pain arises. So you could have a cavity, mm -hmm. and not even know you have a cavity because there's no pain yeah. because it hasn't reached the uh, reached the, the nerve. nerve yet. Exactly. So that's why it's important to have those uh, periodic X-rays to see if you've got a cavity starting. If there is, they can take care of it, and you feel no pain because the cavity has been repaired. Yeah, and if we it can doesn't stop, get to the nerve. If we can stop the decay before it gets to the nerve, then you know that is the ideal situation. Okay, and um, we're out of time, but we could go <laughs> on. We could do a whole documentary on the mouth there. But if you want more information on this, the important thing to do is go to the dentist every six months, have your teeth cleaned, have them check it. If you've got a cavity, they'll fill it, and there's no pain. For more information. Uh, you can give them a call. 573-875-7071. Uh, okay. And, uh, there, you know, modern dentistry now, the main, the main thing is there is no pain. And these people take good care of you. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Philip and Elizabeth. Uh, if there's something you'd like to hear or see, I'd love to hear from you. Pepper P, Missouri.edu. Bye-bye.